Hey guys, thanks for stopping in for another episode of I Want That Reviews. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Concussion Altering Gas Expansion Device, or CAGE, from VG6 Precision. Now, this retails for $84.99 direct from their website. It's advertised as being the pinnacle of concussion reduction technology. They say that its primary essential task was to disrupt the side concussion and allow you to keep or enhance the characteristics of the Gamma and Epsilon series muzzle devices. Its tubular construction is wrapped very close to the brake uh, that allows it to distribute gases and allow more muzzle control and concussion disruption. The sides of the cage itself have lots and lots of these little tiny holes along there in a pattern. Essentially what that will do for you is it uniformly disrupts that horizontal concussion and allows the brake to still function, resulting in a smoother recoil and uh, no muzzle flip by bleeding off the energy instead of just uh, an outright dump of that energy to either side. As far as specifications on this, it weighs 1.4 ounces. It's made of a high quality stainless steel. It's finished with a nice black nitride finish, uh, rates at a 68 Rockwell for surface hardness, and as I said earlier, it's made to function with the Gamma 556 and Epsilon 556, but is compatible with a few others out there. It is worth noting that this is not compatible with the Gamma 762 or 68 SPC, as well as the Delta 556. It will not work with those. Uh, another note is for that price and everything that you're looking at, this is just for the cage. That price does not include a brake. Now for my initial impressions with this, uh, when I first pulled it out of the package and took a look at it, I thought it looked pretty interesting. It's unique. It's not something that I've seen before. If you look at the way that it, it meets right up to the edge there, you can see the purpose that it serves. It keeps the, the top open there so that your gases can escape the top and get out that way. I thought it was well machined, uh, it, was, it came in very simple packaging and uh, had a very nice finish. So as far as installation goes, it's relatively simple. You take a 5 64th Allen wrench and uh, give a couple twists on the Allen head screws that are across the top. This will slide right off just like that. Uh, you can see it's got those, uh, those Allen keys right there. Uh, that will slide off and then it has a second key that's included with it. I'll show you that here. And essentially the way that works, it's got a little tongue that sits in those uh, grooves on your flash hider and, uh, it'll, and the screws tighten down against that and that's all there is to it. Now for the brake itself, as I said earlier, you can see it's got several little holes built into it here. Very easy to see how that could reduce that side concussion. One thing that concerned me is with this little uh, additional key that comes with it, that is easy to lose, and uh, you only get one of those. So that's one concern that I had about it. As far as use, I thought it worked very well. I thought, I thought it looked good. I did notice a reduction in side blast in my use of it. I think it would probably be a little more noticeable on the Gamma or the Epsilon brake. The reason I say that is if you look at the, the, the brake that I have on here currently, uh, it's not a, just a wide open side, it's, it's very similar to what this brake looks like in itself. So I don't have a whole lot of side blast with, with this as it is, but I did notice that there was a significant reduction even when using this. I did notice that you need to pay attention when you're installing on the fly. When I was using it, I put it on, I took it off, I put it back on, and there was one point when I actually did drop that little key, and uh, that's not a good thing. You, uh, you lose that, and you're going to have to get in touch with VG6 to see about getting it replaced. I definitely think that this is good for someone that's going to be spending a lot of time with range neighbors if you're going to be in a closed range where you've got people right next to you in the lane uh, or even outdoors uh, in a lane right next to you. This will definitely come in handy because uh, it'll make some of those shooters out to your side a little happier instead of blasting them with that, with that side concussion. Outside it may not be the best. Uh, I found that for the way that I typically shoot it doesn't serve a huge practical purpose but again that's entirely based on the situation that I'm putting it in. So as far as likes for it, uh, I think it works well, it looks great, uh, and in the install is pretty simple. Even though it's got that key, it, it is pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to do. Dislikes, uh, I don't like the fact that it's got this little piece to lose. I do like the fact that, uh, that this 
keeps you from marring your uh, your flash hider. The the screws actually tighten into this, but uh, if you do lose this, you're up that well-known creek without a paddle. And as I said, it's it's not exceptionally fun to put on and take off on the fly. If it's something that you're going to be using all the time, obviously that's not going to be a huge issue. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give it 5 out of 5 stars. I think it's a good product. I think it does absolutely what it's advertised to, and I do think that it's worth the money. So I'll go ahead and include a link to their website as well as their Facebook page in the description below. You can go ahead and visit their site and see if that's something that interests you. As always, thanks so much for watching. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So please just keep checking back on a weekly basis for more reviews of awesome products, just like this one, that'll make you say, I want that.